you know, we all know smart people are not successful. We all know educated people are not successful. We all know beautiful people are not successful. We know talented people are not successful. The ones who are successful are the ones who never give up. Hey guys, on the mic today, we have one of the world's most successful and well-known investors on the planet, Jim Rogers. If you don't know who Jim is, Google him. He'll come up in, I think, the top 35 wealthiest people in the world. And we got him on the show actually a couple years ago. And one thing that I really noticed, we asked him questions about investing and economies and globalization, and he kept going back to talking thing, to things about mindset. And it was really interesting, and it just goes to show you how powerful and important mindset is. Now, on this episode, Jim dives into focus and persistence and how he kind of sees these as one and the same. You don't need beauty necessarily or talent or money to be successful, but what you do need is persistence. And then he addresses how to train persistence. And one of the best and easiest ways in the world to do that is to do what you love. If you're not doing what you love, it's easy to burn out. It's easy to be unhappy. You may have financial success. You may be able to buy and go where, buy anything you want at any time or go where you want to go at any time, but you won't have that peace of mind. You won't have that fulfillment. You need to do what you love because if not, you're really in a sense wasting your life. So then how do we do that? And one of the ways that Jim recommends is being in an environment that is above you. So when he went away to university, he was around a lot of people that he said were smarter than him. That's a great thing to do. A lot of the most successful and wealthy people on the planet will surround themselves with people that are smarter than them. So here you guys go. We're doing the interview with myself and a good friend, Noah Lath. Let's hop into it with Jim Rogers, one of the most successful investors on the planet. Noah, I think I'll just give the mic to you and start off with a couple of questions for Jim. Well, Jim, I, I have so many questions. I don't think we, we're going to even have them time. I was impressed what you've achieved uh, in your life, especially, you know, breaking uh, uh, the, uh, the the indexes by 10 hundred folds uh, comparing to other uh, fund managers. Today, I don't th- I'm not going to ask you technical things or anything on that side, but mostly about what, from your point of view, if when an interviewer asked uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett simultaneously, they, they asked him, uh, what is the defining factor in your success? They both answered the uh, focus. From your point of view and, and in the sector that you were, what is let's say, a couple of characteristics that you thought, hey, that, that helped me if I compare myself to other successful people, that is something that really helped me a lot comparing to others. Well, focus, of course, is extremely important, and everybody who is successful is focusing, or he or she is unlikely to be successful. I, I would add or maybe substitute the word persistence. Uh, persistence is maybe, it may be the same thing as focus in this case, You know, we all know smart people are not successful. We all know educated people are not successful. We all know beautiful people are not successful. We know talented people are not successful. The ones who are successful are the ones who never give up, who are persistent, persistent, persistent. And whether you call that persistence or focus, it's, in my view, it's probably the same thing. So you don't have to be educated in order to be successful. You don't even have to be beautiful if you persist or if you focus. True, true. And, and what, what gave you the energy to be uh, persistent, and especially in, in this time of instant gratification? Like, how can our audience, let's say, train their persistence from your point of view? Well, I was scared to death. I didn't have any choice. You know, I wanted, I wanted to survive. I wanted to, make, I wanted to make a lot of money, but I also wanted to survive. And every day I went to the office, and there was this big pile of money there. Had to do something with it, or I would be kicked out. Uh, we would all be kicked out, so... And and the and and it's because I adored what I was doing. I loved, loved, loved what I was doing. I yes. couldn't believe when I found Wall Street. Here was a place that they would pay me to do what I loved, pay me to know what was going on in the world, and and react to it and invest. So I mean, it was because I loved what I was doing, and I really didn't want to do anything else. From your point of view, the the fact that you had an amazing peer group in Yale, all high achievers, all smart people. Did that influence also your life? Well, they were all smarter than I was. They were all more, you know, more knowledgeable than I was, better prepared than I was. So it was the same thing. I had to scramble 
you know, I had to survive. I didn't have any choice. After Yale, I went to Oxford. Same thing. They, well, they all knew a whole lot more about everything than I did. So I was, I was in over my head everywhere I went, including Wall Street. So I didn't have any choice but to keep trying, keep persisting. Okay, guys, to tie that up, Jim makes some incredibly good suggestions on the importance of doing what you love. So let me ask you, are you really doing what you love and what you enjoy? Because if you're just sacrificing your time for money, I would actually say it's probably a big, giant waste of your life. There's much better things that you could do with your life. Do what you love. Do what you love. Do you what you love. Do it as much as possible. Do it as best as you possibly can. The money will come. And if the money isn't there, the money will come. It always does. It will eventually come. So ask yourself that question. How can you start doing more of what you love? If you guys like what you're hearing and want to make sure that you don't miss any of these tips, please subscribe, leave us a review, and share with your friends. See you on the next episode.